Anikinoya Meskogeket Koyendishnakas, Megazain Dodem, Bawate and Donjba, Minwa in Dida. Um my name is Gray. I am the administrative assistant for uh Sioux Tribe Language and Culture Department, and we're here today with our twenty-third Anishinaabe Moan lesson. Um we're talking about getting dressed. This is part three of that series. And I'll let the uh, our language instructors introduce themselves and then we'll get right into the lesson. So, Kim Tom Shirley. Tani Kinagoya, Shirley Rockland, the Stakas, we come from Don Jaba. Bakting the da, Wawashkesh, Minan Neme, Do Dem, Kibi Square, and Donishnabe Nozui. Hello, my name is Shirley Rackley. I'm from Wakomakang, Manitoulin Island. I live here in Sioux, Ontario. And my clan is, my dad is Wawashkesh, dear. My mom is Neme, Sturgeon. And um, a spring water woman is my Nishnabe uh, Nozui. Nahao, Kristam, Sisa. Now, Anin Bojo, Gigilang Wasa Nin, Jibuaminoa Jagana, she and Dao, Jijok and Do Dam, Bao Ting and Don Jiba, Mina, Bao Ting and Dada. Anin, my name is Cecil Pavlot. I am Crane Clan from Bao Ting, Place of the Rapids, sometimes known as Sault Ste. Marie. Now, Maj Tada. Keen Tom Susan. Oh, <laughs> oh you know, I'm not the right one to start. Ah, uh how? -huh. Um, in, welcome to Sioux Tribe Language and Culture Department's 23rd virtual Anishina Bemwin language lesson in Susan uh, Indigenous Cause. Minwa Bidabanakwe, Indigenous Cause. Bauting and Donjaba, Minwa Bauting Dada. My and Dodem Minwa Gachinem Nongo. My name is Sue. Uh, Bidabinakwe, first light of day woman, is my uh, Nishnabe uh, Noswin. I live in the Sioux, Bauting, and I am from the Sioux. And my Ingan or Wolf is my clan. Naho, Diesel, Kitam. No, Gawain. Gay, uh, Gray, no, <laughs> Gray today. Naho. Gray. Okay. Ani kinwaya gray maba biskonye da. Hello everyone. This is Gray. Um, I'm filling in for Paul Blondo today. Um, let's get dressed. So we're going to play kind of a game with the words that we already have gone over so wenish manda that means what are these um and that manda is uh means that these are inanimate so uh our words to match are makazinan madasan and miknot so we're going to be matching those so makazinan can take a second to guess. Makazinan matches number three, shoes. Uh, Madasan, that one matches number two, which is socks. And then Miknot, that one of course matches number one, which is pants. Again, Wenish Manda, Nibe Oyang, Biskawagan, Biskawagan, and Abuezo Bugwan, Abuezo Bugwan. So you can match those. Nibe Oyang, Nibe Oyang, that would match with number two, which is pajamas. 
uh, B Squall Gun. That one matches uh, number one, which is a jacket, a coat. And then Abuezo Bulk One, that would be uh, number three, which is a sweatshirt. Here are our next three words. We have Week One, Bug One, and Mijigo De. So week one, that one is going to match number one, week one, the hat. Uh, bug one, that one, you might recognize that word bug one from the slide before. That matches the shirt. And then midjigo de is skirt. Three more. Uh, we have Gijok Makazenon, Bito Miknot, and then Bito Bugwan. These ones might be a little easier because all all of these words have been on previous slides. So Gijok Makazenon, that one matches with number two, and that is a winter boot kind of a warm boot rather than a rubber boot the gijok is warm and then makazinan for shoe so that is boot uh bito miknot uh, on the previous slide we had miknot which is pants so bito miknot is uh underpants and then bito bugwan you can see it has the same word Bito and then bug one with shirt, so that matches with number one, which is an undershirt. And then our last slide of matching, uh, Wenish Maba. We have the word Maba instead of Manda because these articles of clothing are actually animate. So we have Nob Kowagan, Mojewen, and Mijikawanuk. Midje, midje midje um, so, Nob Kowagan, that's going to match with number one, which is scarf. Mojewen is, uh, that matches with shawl number three and then midget kawanuk is mittens so Gin tom shirley ani kunaguya shirley maba biskunia da hi everyone this is shirley let's get dressed biskunia da Next slide, please. Uh -huh. uh, Gray helped us review most of the articles of clothing. We've learned, now look, and let's look at the actions. Now how, be scan, quick one. Be scan, quick one. Meal animate, be scan, quick one. Put on your hat. Be scan, be scan, so put on your scarf. Giskan kabiskuagan. Giskan kabiskuagan. Take off your coat. Gisko menjakalnuk. Gisko kamenjakalnuk. Take off your mittens. Next slide, please. Naha. Miknot gibiskan. Miknot gibiskan. I put on my pants. Miknot gibiskan. So I put on my pants. Na boy zo babuguyan gigiskan. Boy zo babuguyan gigiskan. Took off my sweatshirt. So the first one is biskan. Put on. Giskan. Took take off. Na moje win gibiskwa. Mojwa win gibi squa. I put on my shawl. Mjaka win gigi squa. 
Mijakawin Gigi Squa. I took off my mitten. Mijakawin Gigi Squa. I took off my mitt or glove. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Meters, we learn a cluster of words like this. It's really helpful to look for the patterns. Let's look again, just the action words. So these will be action words, like command words. Biskan, baka, biskan, biskan, giskan. Kwa biskan, kabiskuagan, giskan, kabiskuagan. Bisko, gisko. Bisko, mjakawin, gisko, mjakawin. Mishmina telling someone, biskan, giskan, biskan, biskuagan. Giskan biskuagan. Biskwa napkuagan. Giskwa napkuagan. So biskan is saying I have it on. Giskan, I'm taking it off. Biskwa, I have it, I have something on. Giskwa, I'm take I'm taking something off. Uh-huh. Kubudon. Kubudon, this says pull up. It's a command. Kubudon. So when you ask somebody to put their socks or whatever, you say Kubudon Kamiknot. Kubudon Kamiknot. Pull up your pants. Kubudonan Medasa. Kubudonan Medasa. Pull up your socks. So uh, you have noticed two socks, so we, so we make the action word saying more than one. That would be one. But in this case over here, pull up your sock. A pants is just one garment. Think of a pair of pants. Also, uh, also none of our animate clothes are pull up, so we don't need an animate form this time. Uh -huh. Ita Msiso. Now, Ani in Kenagoya, Tiso Maba, Visconye Da. Hi everyone, Ani. Uh, this is Siso. Let's get dressed. Now. Another action word related to clothing is Zagakwan. Zagakwan. It is a command. It means fasten something together. Same word for buttoning, zipping, pinning, hooking, velcroing, snapping, and or nailing. So all of those things you're saying to fasten it together. Zagakwan. Zagakwan. Kabiskoagan. Button up your coat. And if your coat has a zipper, you'd be telling them to zip it up. So Zagakwan. Velcro up your shoe. So you see that? Only talking about one. Gemakazanan is a pair. Buckle up your shoes or tie them. So you see the un at the end of both words, making it plural. Now, we also use godon, a command to hang up something. Godon, kabug one. Hang up your shirt in animate. Godon, kanab kwagan. In this case, for whatever reason, we don't need to ask why. Um, godon is used for both inanimate and animate. So a bit of relief that that same form of the word is used for both animate and inanimate clothing. Now how? <clears throat> Since we are in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are likely to need to wear masks for a few months ahead. Biskan, yabto, gabin gwep zawin, koje ja yin. Woo, mouthful. <laughs> Wear your mask when you go somewhere. Have face covering. 
Piskan Gabto Gbin Gwepzawen Goje Jayen. Nabiskan Nabto Gbin Gwepzawen. I am wearing my mask, or I am putting on my mask. Nabiskan Nabto Gbin Gwepzawen. Now, Gin Tom Susan. Nahau, miigwech, Cecil. I am sure you had a, quite a tongue twister there with that mask, but um, miigwech. Ani kinawea, Susan Maba. Bis konyeda. Hi everyone, this is Susan. Let's get dressed. So um, we uh, are coming into the cold season, Babon. Uh, and um, the fall is already chilly as can be, although today it's not too bad here in the Sioux. Um, so um, the, a, a lot of our words then uh, that we've been using are things that you would wear in the winter, scarves and mittens and coats and all that kind of thing. Um, and so um, a number of people um, uh, have a way of learning that helps them um, sort of remember, and that is by music. Um, I know that a uh, number of our teachers uh, use music in that way, Shirley has for sure in the past. Um, but let's um, look at these words. Now, I, I am um, uh, perhaps a different generation, some, some of the younger people, and so it turns out that some of the songs I learned that I think of, oh, these are just normal songs that all the kids learn when they're just little. But unfortunately, the kids today are learning much more modern songs than I did. So I put this to this tune of Amazing Grace. You can see that up on the right. It says, Nasop Amazing Grace. It Nasop means it's the same as, the same as Amazing Grace. Okay, let's look at it. It says, Gisana Gujing, it's cold outside. Zopo Makomi Ka. Makomi, if you remember, like Makomi Taswin, it's an ice box. This is icy, oh, it's icy. Zopo, is it snowing? Actually, we have a different word for if snow is just sitting there on the ground. But Zopo means it's snowing. Gisanakujing, Zopo Makomi Ka. Gijokinawen, that's our word we just did in this lesson. Dress warm. Niji. Um, a friend is Nuijkien or Nuijkiwen, two different ways of saying that. But um, in, it's sort of a way of people today to shorten everything up. So Niji is a short term for my friend. Gijokinawen, Niji. Biskun, Gawikwan, put on your hat. That's today's lesson. Well, that's this uh, set. This is um, part three of these lessons. but. Biskan, put on. Gawikwan, your hat. The gakwan, um, it's going to be the uh, fastened together. Fastened together. Gabiskawagan, your coat. The gakwan, gabiskawagan. Zip up your coat or button it up, however it is you do it with your coat. And then nabkawagan, that's a scarf. Mijikawanak. Meanwhile, uh, is, of course, your gloves or your mittens, some kind of hand covering. Gida biskwak. Gida, actually, if there had, if I had paid better attention, I would have had a space after da, gida, and then, because that means you should, and then biskwak, uh, wear them. Bisco is put is uh, the word for um, putting something on or wearing something. And the walk ending just means uh, it turned it into more than one. So Nabkawagan, Jikawanak, Gidabiskawak. Okay, so let's sing that together. And I know I can just hear you all out there in uh, internet land. Uh, but you, you'll have to put me back up there. There we go. And uh, I can hear you singing along with me. Okay, let's go. Gesena, ho ching, so po, mako mi ka. I jo, kena wen, ni chi. Bi 
skull go weak one the gawk one the beast go wagon knob go wagon midjikawanak get the beast go walk okay now that was really good i could hear you all out there singing let's look at uh, verse two Ejo, Makizanam, Ejo, Mada son, We weep, Biscon Yen, Nichi, Ha ha, Aperture, and Doggy, and away, they get there. Zaman gigi joke in a way. You did so good out there in computer land. Thank you very much. And I would encourage you to um, learn in this way. It's one possible way of doing it, although you would have had to take a screenshot of that, I guess. But um, these are ways, and you know, you can make up your own songs make from the lessons that we've had. Rahao, Chimmi Gwech, Siso, Ging Tom. Rahao, Mi Gwech Susan uh, for that good song and uh, obviously another way of learning to put our words to music. It helps. Many methods for that and we appreciate Susan singing that song. Mi Gwech Kina Gwea, Bazenda Muk. Bama P, follow our Facebook page at Sioux Tribe Language and Culture. Nahao. Miigwech kinawea. Bama P. Miigwech kina. Bama P. See you in the next one. Miigwech. Bama P. Yeah, next week. Nahao. Bama P. Minawa. Miigwech.